Hi, our second recipe, we're going to do our brontosaurus bones. What I'm going to do is season them. Simple salt and pepper is a great alternative. What I'm going to use is some of my rib rub seasoning. It's a seasoning in my book. And it's, it's kind of a chili, sweet chili based rib rub. I use it on pork, I use it on produce. Use it on everything. Pretty simply, we're just we're going to season these all the way around. And then we're going to pop them in a 300 degree oven for at least three and probably closer to four hours. We want them really tender. And when they're done, we'll let them cool and we'll put them on the grill and add a little barbecue sauce. And by then, as they cook, what you'll notice is that the, the meat will shrink away from the bone and they'll be really cool looking brontosaurus ribs. So there we go, ready for the oven. Now you previously coated them in olive oil? Yes. I did. I rubbed them down with a bit of olive oil before I added the seasoning. And I did spray the pan with a non-stick coating. It's brontosaurus rib grilling time. You can see here we have our brontosaurus ribs and I roasted these off in the oven for just a little over three hours and you can see how nicely they turned out. The carving we did at the end off the, the thin end is really made for a nice brontosaurus bone there. So again I let these warm to room temperature on the counter. I brushed them with some olive oil so they didn't stick. And these are cooked, so really what we need to do is just warm them up and add a bit of barbecue glaze. So I've got my grill set for this burner. We're going to turn that off. We're going to turn that one off. And we're going to set these ribs just on the, the hot side for a moment. Aren't those cool? Who wouldn't like to eat a big brontosaurus rib? And then I have some nice barbecue sauce. Remember, if you've got a hot pot on the head, on the stove, use a, something to warm, something to hold on to because it's going to be warm. And I have my favorite barbecue sauce. My favorite barbecue sauce is a commercial barbecue sauce that I add. I, I always have leftover red wine. I let that reduce and I kind of thin the barbecue sauce with the reduced wine reduction. And we're just going to brush this on these ribs and get a nice glaze on them. Be pretty generous here. Again, the idea is just to get a nice coating on these. They're already cooked. So we're going to just get them warm. We're going to turn them over here. Get the barbecue sauce everywhere. They look surprisingly easy to turn, but they're somehow hard. There we go. And then we're going to brush each, both sides. Put it around the edges and get all four sides if you can with the barbecue sauce. Grill's going to get messy, but that's why you have a cleaning brush to clean your grill with. Okay, so we've got them nicely lathered up there with a nice bit of barbecue sauce. And then we're going to take them, we're going to move them over to the side of the grill where there's no heat. It's just indirect. We're going to leave this side on, on medium, just to have the heat. And the grill is going to work like an oven and it's going to just warm these through and get them nice and warm and they're ready to serve. We'll be back when we display them on the table. Presenting the nice rustic dish of dinosaur bones. Don't those look nummy? We'll give you the 360 tour here. The little corn on the cob nicely grilled again with some of my rib rub recipe found in the book. And there you go. Enjoy.